let's think about two molecules coming together. So when two molecules come together, you have this bimolecular uh, process going on. But every time two molecules come together, they're not going to go on and form a product. You're only going to form a product when those molecules have a critical amount of energy, when, they're, when they have the energy which allows them to react, that activation energy. If they have enough energy when they come together, they will go on and form products. So that's what activation energy is. It's this critical amount of energy that they need to react with each other. All right, so let's just think about what affects uh, that critical amount of energy. And of course, temperature is going to be involved. So let's think about, let's think about that. So if we have fraction of molecules on one side, and we have kinetic energy down here, Let's think about how temperature is involved in this. So at a low temperature, the fraction of molecules that are going to have enough energy to react is going to be less. And let's think about at a higher temperature, go like this. So this is high temperature. And we have low temperature up here. And then over here, we would have our activation energy, the energy needed for reaction. And you see, when if you're at low temperature, only a small number of molecules are going to have enough energy to react. But if you're at higher temperature, a large number of molecules are going to have that critical energy to react. So at low temperature, not many can react. At higher temperature, many more will have that energy, will be able to overcome that activation energy uh, will have it, and they can react. So temperature plays a big role here. 